Hello, fifth grade. We are so excited to meet you. Um, we have been praying for you since before we even met you. So we cannot wait to welcome you to school tomorrow and um, just get to know you and all the things that make you, you. Um, today is the first day of fifth grade. And as such, we are going to set up our binder. So um, I am going to do this in a video form. Um, if you want to go ahead and set up your binder alongside me, that would be great. Feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast. Get yourself all set up so that you are completely ready to go for the first day. So here we go. Um, first thing that you need is some sort of binder, okay? So your binder can be like this, that's plastic. Um, it can be a zippered binder, whatever works the best for you. Um, we fully believe that the Lord made us all unique and special and different and different brains work different ways. And so whatever you feel the most confident in and the best um, way that you feel like will keep you organized, um, that is what we want you to go ahead and use. Um, just make sure that it does have your name somewhere on it so that if it's found in the hall or something we can make sure it gets back to you so inside your binder you should have some of these little um, zippered pencil pouches we asked for two of them um, on your assignment sheet <clears throat> I mean excuse me on your supply list so um, in the first pencil pouch um, you can either keep this in your binder. Some people like to keep the this first pencil pouch in their binder because they feel like it helps to keep them really organized and they don't want to forget any supplies. Um, some people would rather keep it in their binder and just put it in their desk when they get there so that their actual binder isn't quite so cumbersome. Completely your call and whatever works best for you organizationally. So these are the items. The first pouch, I'm. it's almost like I'm considering it a, like your supply pouch. Um, so you will need like an individual pencil sharpener, something kind of like this, um, that you can, if you're in the middle of class and you're writing and your pencil breaks um, and you can't just get up to sharpen it on our electric one, you have a way to sharpen your pencil. Um, these also are great for colored pencils. Um, so just make sure that you have one of those in there. Um, you'll need scissors, a glue stick, four to five pencils. Um, this is also to kind of help alongside this, just in case you accidentally drop one or it breaks, you have another one that you can use during class um, to get yourself organized. Um, two to three dry erase markers. We don't care, have no preference on color, whatever works best for you. Um, the only one we will say is probably not yellow. That one's just harder to see. Um, and then some sort of dry erase eraser. So it can look something like this. I found these on Amazon that are just little dry erase erasers. You can also use like a washcloth or an old sock, um, anything like that clean, preferably. Um, but anything like that works. Um, but we just ask that you write your name on it because if we find a dirty sock on the floor with no name on it, chances are it's going in the trash can instead of us trying to <laughs> find out whose it is. Um, uh, some colored pencils, a highlighter, we don't have a preference on color, whichever one works best for you, and a Sharpie. So those things, again, can stay in one of your pencil pouches. They can stay in your backpack, just you have to keep up with them, or it can um, be clipped into your binder. Um, one of the things we'll talk about in fifth grade is that we always have supplies for you to use, um, but it will cost you some class cash if you do have to, to um, borrow some from us after the first couple weeks. So um, just whatever way keeps you the most organized and you feel the best, um, that's what we want you to go with. Okay, the second one for sure, for sure goes in your binder. Um, so this, um, this pouch is one that is gonna contain these items. It's gonna contain your class cash pouch um, our current novel study, some post-it notes, and your calculator for math. Um, so um, if you have gone ahead and read on the um, assignment sheet, the first book that we are reading is called Behind Rebel Lines. Um, you'll also have your class, class cash pouch, gosh, say that five times fast, um, some post-it notes, and then your calculator. And all of that just fits so nicely in here. Um, and then that way you always have that with you um, as you go. Okay, there we have it. 
Um, the next thing that you are going to do, the next thing we asked for is some dividers. Um, I really like these ones with the pockets um, because if we're working on something um, and we don't get a chance to finish it, you can always just put the paper in there and then that way it's safe and protected and you know you have it at home to work on. Um, but if you did not purchase ones with the little um, like pocket folder thing, it's okay. Um, you just have to, to be better about making sure that you're hanging on to all those things. Um, these are the tabs that we would like to be in your binder. Um, they can be in any order. It doesn't matter to us. Um, I did put these in the order for our schedule just for you to, um, if that's easier for you and your brain to work. If not, um, any way works completely fine. Um, in each of these sections, you'll have a grammar, reading, writing, Spanish, Bible, history, and science. Um, we just ask that you put just like a teeny bit of notebook paper in each section. Um, then that way, if we need notebook paper for some reason, you can um, just pull it out and grab it, which is great. Um, in your book crate, there were several um, uh, packets that were in there. And so I just want to kind of go through those and make sure you know um, what things go in what areas. Um, so you should have a Behind Rebel Lines packet. Please write your name on it and then stick this one in the reading section of your binder. Um, you have an author's purpose one. Um, that one is writing. So again, write your name on it and then stick it in the writing section of your binder. Um, you have a history one, um, Cowboys in the New Century. Please write your name on it and then you can stick that in history. And then lastly, you have the scientific method one. That's probably one really tricky to figure out which subject that goes into, but um, that one is science. If you'll write your name um, on it and stick it in the science section of your binder, that would be great. You will get a Spanish packet tomorrow in class. Um, in the Bible tab, um, when um, the Bible teacher, Mrs. Kenyon, might hand out some um, Bible reading passages, she'll print them for us um, or for you guys um, to leave in your binder to reference. Um, that way you don't have to bring your Bible to and from school every day just from a, you know, heaviness of the backpack standpoint. Um, just a couple of other things to mention. Your supply list did also call for some sort of composition notebook. That one is what you're going to be using for Bible. So just make sure your name is on that one. Um, and it also called for a thin Sharpie for art. Um, if you don't mind to bring this on the first day of school, I'll collect it and hand it to um, the art teacher. And then that way you don't have to bring it, um, at, you know, every time. She'll just kind of keep them there in the art room for you. Um, your supply sheet also talked about a couple of other things that I just wanted to mention that you are welcome to leave at home. Um, any extra supplies that you have. So, um, you know, your supply list called for several highlighters, several dry erase markers, several pencils, that kind of thing. The goal was for you to have to do one shop early this year, and then you didn't have to, to do anything else. Um, in terms of uh, purchasing additional supplies. So just leave those at a safe place at home. We won't tell you like, hey, you're out of a glue stick. You need to, you know, replenish it. So it's kind of up to you to remember that. Um, the sticky notes that you have in your binder are a great way to remind yourself, leave yourself like a little note so that you remember to do it when you're at home. Um, it calls for flashcards. We'll use those for our research project on World War II. Um, that one we won't need until January, so you can just leave those at home, no problem. Um, eraser cap, same thing. Those you can leave at home if you notice that your eraser has kind of like, um, you know, at is no more. You're welcome to just add one of those on there so that you have it. Um, and then lastly, um, it asked for like a three-pronged folder and some earbuds. You won't need those until January either. This is for computer that you'll have the second semester. I wanted to just kind of show you really quick how I um, have mine set up, just so you know. Um, so I have the folder with the name. Um, I did go ahead and purchase just another one of these while they're really easy to find, um, you know, versus in January, sometimes school supplies are harder to find. Um, and I went ahead and put the earbuds in there as well as a pencil. Um, then this way, when 
um, your student goes to computer, they just have to bring this folder. Um, they don't have to do anything else, which is great because sometimes pencils get left in computer and then they don't have it in class or they leave it in class and they don't have it in computer and then they're not prepared and it's a whole thing. So um, that, if you are wanting to set that up now, so you have it, um, you can, but again, you do not need this until January, which is great. So that brings us to what should you bring on the very first day? Um, so please bring your binder that you just set up with all those items and things in it. Um, if there's anything that um, the math teacher has mentioned that you might need, um, go ahead and bring those with you. Um, make sure that you bring a lunch. If you have purchased it from TKA, it does start on Tuesday, so that's no sweat, but if you are bringing your lunch, just make sure that you are bringing that. Um, same thing with a kind of non-messy snack and a water bottle that doesn't leak everywhere. Um, you can bring that with you. Again, bring that thin Sharpie because we'll collect it for art. And then bring a smile because we are so excited. We cannot wait to meet you and um, and get to know you guys and just have a really fun first day of school. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.